babe, we gotta take down these Christmas decorations. <laughs> Everyone's gonna keep thinking these vlogs are old. No, it's February, guys. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> no, you filmed this in November! <laughs> We just haven't had the time. We've been traveling so much. Erica's actually watched. She just posted a vlog of her traveling. So you guys are so into fashion. Oh, I'm sure there are some fitness peeps that like a little fashion, babe. Yeah, maybe for their girls. Maybe they just want to look at you. Who you knows? You have girl watchers, too. You have girl subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You ready to um, battle the snow and go to the post office? Let's roll. Such an exciting life of a fitness YouTuber with over a million subscribers. Today we're going to the post office and then the dump. Ha <laughs> ha! And then probably work out later. Here's the super exciting dump where all this trash goes with all that trash. But I will say, one good thing about being a YouTuber is that I do have a lot more time to do things during the day because this place gets packed when it's like prime time, you know, like after two or three, people start getting out of work, so I guess that does help. Erica had to go to Michael's, which is right next to Best Buy, so I figured I would come in Best Buy and maybe get some new movies. Oh, nice, I didn't get to see this one yet. This is actually the third in a series with um, Tom Hanks, if you guys haven't seen them all. It's uh, The Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. This is the third one. Oh, yes, this one? Oh, I've been wanting to see the new Jack Reacher. Sick. Make sure this is the good one. Steel Book, 1999. That's what's so awesome about Best Buy is when movies first come out, they're always on sale. I'm not gonna buy this, but if you guys haven't seen Ballers yet, this is an awesome show to watch. Dwayne does a freaking awesome job in that in that show. There's one more movie I want. I didn't see it at the front, so I'm gonna go to the movie section and try to find it. Well, this isn't the movie I'm looking for, but for 30 bucks on sale, I think I'll pick it up. I don't know if I have the fifth element yet, so definitely gonna grab that one too. Oh look guys, here are the other ones I told you about. Angels and Demons, and then Da Vinci Code, and then the third one is Inferno. Now I'm getting really mad because I seriously cannot find the movie that I wanna buy, and I've looked through all of these sections. I was at Walmart last night, I should have just bought it there. It's, it's a movie called Surf's Up, it's part two. It's actually a cartoon movie, but it's hilarious. It has um, the dude from Napoleon Dynamite in it, it has um, uh, Shia LaBeouf in it, and um, the guy who played Oswald on the Drew Carey show, I forget his name. It's a really funny movie, and I guess part two you know, has all these like WWE wrestlers doing the voices. It's a, it's a fun movie to enjoy, I like kid movies, kid cartoon movies too, as well as obviously the classics and all the superhero stuff. You gotta have a nice wide variety of movies that you watch. But I was gonna buy it because Erica wanted to watch it too. And I know Krista would enjoy it, but I just don't see it. I'm gonna have to go back to Walmart to get it. Now we'll go to Michael's and try to find Erica. Let's see how fast I can find her. Ready? Oh! Two seconds flat, I found you. Mm -hmm. I just I just said to the nation, let's see how fast I can find Erica. Boom. Now they know what my life is really like. Just left her right there. Waiting for you, waiting for you, waiting for you. See guys, when you have your wives properly trained, it's that easy. They did not have the movie I wanted. I have to go get it at Walmart. But I did get, cool. look, I got Jack Reacher. Oh, who's this guy? What's up, Bello? What's up? Yeah, you excited? Getting ready to hit the gym soon. Unfortunately, because we were in Ireland for a week, basically had zero food in the house, and you guys saw my meal prepping before, but basically what I'm doing right now is some dishes and meal prepping. So you guys know I like to do my chicken with aso sauce, so I already took care of all that. I diced up a lot of green peppers already and made those, and then I'm actually cooking chicken, two types of chicken, so I'm doing the aso sauce right over here. And then I've been doing, I do garlic and pepper as well. And I already have a few of these made up. So those are looking really good. Um, but yeah, and then I have to do beans as well. And so I'm gonna cook these beans right here. And I'm gonna dice up some asparagus too. Have some nice greens and some veggies ready for me when I'm eating my meals. I'm also watching The Curse of Oak Island right now. I don't know if you guys watch this show. But I'm like, will you just hurry up and find the damn treasure? Like, every time they drill somewhere, they always make, like, tiny holes, and they kind of excavate, and then they leave and go somewhere else. Like, they find evidence of treasure, and then they leave and try to find other places. And I'm like, 
to dig a big ass hole, get down there, and find the damn treasure. <laughs> Watch, one day I'm going to be really rich and I'm going to go over to Oak Island and be like, all right guys, let's do this. Let's find this thing. What's up, Scott? Did you miss me? I did. Did you miss me too? I knew it. Welcome home, buddy. Oh. In front of all the guys? Come on. <laughs> You ready to hit some legs today? Hell yeah, let's do it. So today is gonna be a leg day. I got my prodigy, Ben, warming up behind me. You'll see a little bit of him on footage, but we'll save the big reveal for when he makes the massive gains. <laughs> <laughs> but man, just got back, obviously, from Ireland. I've been, I probably haven't done legs in like two weeks. Definitely not looking forward to it today, but unfortunately, when you don't look forward to doing something, it has its setbacks. So you guys can't do that. Like for instance, for me, you know, I'm, I was like halfway motivated, like yeah, we're gonna do this, gonna hit the gym. But because I had that little bit of doubt of not really wanting to hit legs today, because I'm still kind of recovering, I had a lot of editing to do today, I forgot to bring my knee sleeve, which I've been using a lot to lift crazy heavy, especially on my squats and the leg press. So I'm a little irritated that I forgot those, but just reminded me that you gotta always think positive no matter what, especially when it comes to your workouts. Even if you don't wanna do it, convince yourself that you wanna do it, and then just get in and get it done, which is what we're gonna do right now. First up is gonna be the barbell squat. We're gonna do a warm up. Um, I've already done some warm ups at this point on the floor to loosen up my hips and my lower back. But what I really like to do before I start heavy squatting is I like to do like 135 pounds and just go through the range of motion 10 to 12 times and really get a feel for the barbell on my back and sitting within the range of motion I'm supposed to be in for when I go heavy, especially if I've been gone and I haven't been able to squat for over a week and a half. This really helps get my mind in the right mindset. And then I also like to do a heavier warm up with 225, again, just one set of 10 to 12 repetitions. Then as soon as that's over, I'm gonna go into my first heavy set, and I'm gonna do eight to 10 repetitions here. And what I'm basically doing is getting myself ready to go into my super heavy sets. And for sets two, three, and four, I'm gonna do uh, four to six repetitions with 315. Obviously now at this point, you can tell I've warmed up, uh, taken off my Captain America t-shirt, I'm starting to sweat <laughs> and I've also thrown on my belt and on these sets guys I really try to grind through um, you know usually 315 isn't this tough for me but when you're traveling across the across the world <laughs> and not getting your workouts in the first thing to go for me is usually my strength it goes right down the shitter but what I like to do is push myself and especially the first day back I kind of push myself probably a little hotter than I should just to force my body, to force my central nervous system to kind of react and then get stronger and get back to where it needs to be faster. So um, I do take long pauses sometimes in between reps if I know I have one more left in the tank. I don't see any reason why you can't do that. It's all about pushing yourselves. Um, and then for the fifth set, what I do is three reps, uh, heavy as possible. That's what the HAP means. You guys saw it down there when I listed what I'm doing. So three reps, heavy as possible, and then as soon as I finish those three reps, what I'm going to do is lower the weight and then do 10 to 12 repetitions, um, usually with about half of what I'm working with now. So as you can see, the three reps was a grinder. I was actually gonna go for four on this one, but I knew I'd get stuck. <laughs> I didn't feel like getting stuck that day. Um, so I'm just gonna peel off some weight. I think I throw on like 185 pounds. Yeah, there you go, 185 pounds. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hit this um, for about 10 to 12 repetitions. And then when I do this portion, you know, I'm trying to go for volume here. Um, I've been doing, obviously this is a cheat and recover workout and I'm not doing the cheat and recover really on the barbell squats because I wanted to, you know, focus on lifting heavier weight. So that's why in the fifth set, I decided to do basically a cheat and recover where I did three reps as heavy as I possibly could. And then from there, I lowered the weight and went into my recover, making sure I'm going all the way down and all the way up on every single repetition, really focusing on pushing my knees out, pushing through my heels, keeping my head up, and utilizing that proper, that proper range of motion to destroy my glutes and my quads. Well, as suspected, 
Strength is a bit in the toilet right now. But that's to be expected. You should never get discouraged. If you're, tr like for example, I was training for a photo shoot, which requires dropping my body fat percentage down, doing more cardio based workouts, more volume workouts, I should expect a little bit of a dip in my strength. But now that we're back in the gym, and the goal right now isn't to get ready for a shoot, it's to get myself stronger and bigger, well, then I'm gonna start lifting heavier weights, and I'm gonna push myself as hard as you can, as hard as I can, as you guys saw in that last set, when I went down, my goal was to get three or four reps, I ended up getting three, but it was very difficult, but then that's why I saved the cheat and recover for the last set, because I knew I wasn't gonna get that many reps, and I could save myself on the recover, to blast a bit more volume in before we move on to the leg press. So right, right now we're trying to find the right angle to film. So we're pretending. <laughs> Does that look good? Good? We good? Yeah. All right, let's lift. <laughs> All right, guys, next up is the leg press. And these for these, we're definitely doing a cheat and recover on every single set. So get ready. Crush my balls. <laughs> So like many of you, uh, that happens to me every once in a while, <laughs> especially when I'm doing the leg press and my feet close together. Now you guys are probably going to wonder why my feet are close together like this. As I've explained in earlier videos, if you want to work more of the outside of your quads, you keep your feet together. If you want to work more of the inside of your quads and hit that tear duct, uh, that teardrop, what you want to do is get your feet wider. So I'm trying, I have a pretty good um, inside of my quad, so I want to work on the outside. That's why I've been doing my feet together on the leg press. And also, for me, you know, there's no point in having my feet shoulder width apart on this machine because then I'm basically doing the same exact thing I just did on my squats. And I don't want to do the same exercise essentially twice. So be super smart with your training, guys. And if you're going to do the leg press after you squat, it's better to pick either inside stance or outside stance depending on which part of your quads you want to target more. So again, with the recover here, guys, I'm going to do 10 to 12 repetitions, and I'm going to basically do make sure I'm doing full range of motion. And what I like to do in the recover on the leg press is really push it to the max and by doing um, non-stop reps. So as you guys can see, I'm, hitting, uh, I'm gonna hit 12 repetitions here and I'm not stopping. I'm hitting every single rep, making every single rep count. You can see the pain and agony in my face, but to me, that's the only way you really get results on the leg press, is utilize the machine for what it's for and do non-stop reps. How are you feeling? I feel like I just did 12 reps without stopping. Huh. The last exercise we're gonna do is the leg extension. Again, five sets, and this is set one. This is the cheat and recover. And as you guys can see, I'm gripping those handles really tight. I'm doing the whole stack right now, and it's just, it weighs more than I do. So I really have to pull myself into the seat to get the extension. But in order to do the cheat properly, that's what you have to do. So overload on the cheat as always, and then as soon as you finish those reps, go into the recover for 10 to 12 repetitions. And on this one, you should be able to go all the way up on every single repetition. So if you're doing the recover set, you can't get full range of motion, then you probably went too heavy. So make sure you adjust it if you need to. Look in that mirror right there. Do you feel bad every time you look in the mirror? <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, you don't get a smart ass remark now. <laughs> Show the nation how to make gains. Get that full range of motion. You see this guy? How old are you? 14. This is 15. This is Andrew, he's 15. A lot of you guys talk shit about him in the comment section in one of my videos. I'll tell you what, this guy is going to be bigger than all you haters. You want to know why? Because he's got his bro and his friends, and he's got me to make sure he does everything right. And he's the gym mascot. <laughs> <laughs> to finish off this workout, we're going to hit some traps, starting out with the barbell shrug. And on this exercise, guys, you're going to go as heavy as you can 
for the cheat for 10 to 12 repetitions. And this exercise is more than just bringing the weight up. As you guys can see on the way down, I'm actually letting it really sit and stretch. And if you guys look in the mirror behind me, you can see all the muscles in my back tweaking under the pressure of the weight. So obviously I'm using momentum on the cheat set to get the weight up. And then as I go down, I'm letting the weight dip and getting a solid stretch at the bottom of the movement. And immediately, as soon as you finish, immediately drop the weight and do the recover for 10 to 12 repetitions. Now you guys will notice that I am using wrist wraps on both the cheat and recover, and that's because we're doing five sets. So I need to make sure I can place as much emphasis on my traps as possible. And if I wasn't using the wrist straps, I definitely wouldn't have gotten the 405 for 12 like I did. And like I said, I'm not working on grip strength right now. I'm working on targeting my traps as hot as I can. Now we're going to finish it up with the upright row. Again, we're going to be doing five sets of the cheat and recover. And on this exercise too, guys, you can see at the bottom of the movement, I'm letting it stretch for a second. And then I'm pulling it up and bringing the barbell up to about my chin. Now, I like doing this exercise after the shrug because I want to put as much weight on my traps as possible at the beginning of the exercise, at the beginning of training them. And as soon as I hit them as heavy as I possibly can, this is a, an exercise that I like to finish them off with. And if you guys can, uh, can plan your weights right, you can do it kind of like how I did, where you just throw the weights off from side to side after you finish your cheat set. Now, uh, for this exercise, you'll notice that my hands are just outside of shoulder width. This is the proper way to do the movement. You will not get so shoulder impingement if you're doing it this way. So utilize this exercise to do it properly to really target your traps. You guys will see results. I love this exercise. All right, guys, that wraps up today's workout. It was intense. My legs are actually shaking right now, so if the screen looks like it's shaking, it's not. It's just me. But you know what? It's been two weeks since I've been able to really come in and hit it as hard as I wanted to. Today's workout felt great. I had some, uh, some worries when I came in, like I said in the beginning of the video. But to be honest with you, once I started lifting heavy and pushing through and moving from exercise to exercise, you know, I was on track, I was in, I was in my own head, and I was getting things done. And that's how it should always be in the gym for you guys. Like at the end of the day, when you come to the gym, whether you're feeling like shit or you're feeling great or you're worried about how much, lift you're gonna, how much weight you're gonna lift or anything that might be going on in your head, if you really break it down and you understand that at the end of the day, you're gonna be here for a set amount of time you have to just make the best of that time no matter what. So whether you feel like shit or you feel great, you're still gonna be in the gym for like an hour, hour and a half. So might as well make sure that you utilize that time to train as heavy and as hot as possible. I'd love for you guys to try out this routine. I hope you're enjoying my cheat and recover method. I mean, it's working pretty good for me. I feel like I'm starting to really put on some good size. My muscles are really responding to being able to lift heavier weight. And I'm hoping that eventually, <laughs> These traps will start to grow in a lot more. I'm just looking in the screen to make sure I can show you guys. <laughs> They're getting a little bigger, one centimeter at a time, right? <laughs> Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And remember guys, the YouTube algorithm, all it cares about is view time and likes. So please make sure you're hitting that like button to boost the, the views on these videos, to keep them gaining lots of subscribers so I can help more of you guys reach your gains. See you next time.